with police sirens and lights, this vehicle is speeding through the checkpoint toward the border. It's just one of the dozens we've seen in less than an hour on this stretch of the road. This is the closest we can get to the Polish border with Belarus. Behind me is the Polish police and military checkpoint, beyond which only authorized security personnel and people who actually live in Kuznica are allowed. We are just three kilometers from the worst pressure point at the border. Police turn back everyone else. A military helicopter in the distance is also heading toward the border. Polish authorities say they're sending reinforcements to the Kuznica area. We expect a forceful attempt to cross the border. At the moment, we have directed all the forces we could direct there. These are, of course, officers of the border guard, and of course, we are supported by soldiers and police officers. This section of the border is also patrolled by a police helicopter. At dusk, we arrived at the nearby village of Bohoniki. It's one of the last remaining Muslim Tata communities in this part of Poland. A handful of locals have gathered here to bury a Syrian migrant who drowned in the Bug River when he tried to cross from Belarus. What is happening right now on the Polish-Belarusian border is simply a tragedy. Unfortunately, the refugees there have terrible conditions. That's the worst side of all this. I hope they will receive help in some way, that countries agree on how to do it how to help them, whether they be taken to Germany or taken back to their own countries. 19-year Ahmed Al Hassan didn't reach Germany, nor did he have a chance to go back home to Syria. Another migrant who had better luck getting to Germany is also there, on a video phone call with Ahmed's family. A heartbreaking scene, but hardly the last one in this sad story at the Polish-Belarus border. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Kuznica.